Hello again, YouTube. We're back on Free Code Camp doing JavaScript algorithms and data structures. We are in the regular expressions course on challenge 25 of 33. So today we're going to specify upper and lower number of matches. So again, always read this, always understand this, but previously we've used the plus sign to look for one or more characters. So we could say like A plus, and that would find one or more A's or we've used the asterisk to look for zero or more. So a asterisk would find any a, if there is one, zero or more, right? These are convenient, but sometimes we want to be more specific. So this is where we get introduced to what are known as quantity specifiers. So this is a good technical term to reference, but quantity specifiers are used with curly braces. So object curly braces, right? Um, and you put two numbers between the curly braces for the upper and lower numbers of the pattern, rather lower and upper in that order, right? So for example, if we wanted to match the letter A that appears three to five times in the string A H, the regex would be A curly braces to signify the quantity three comma five H, right? So that means we want three to five A's and then an H. So that's what this would try and find. So look, looking at this example, you can see we have four A's here and then an H. And then in this example, we have two A's here and then an H. So the first test on the four A's would be true because in this expression, we're saying A, three to five of them or an H or and an H at the end, right? So that's true. We have A, 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 so three to five, that's four. That is between three to five. And then there is an H at the end. So that's a true test that does match true. The second test, this one here with the second string would be false because, well, we have an A and another A, but do we have three to five A's? No, we do not. We have two A's and then an H, which does not match, right? We do have an A, we do have an H, but we don't have three to five A's. So this entirely changes the behavior, right? Hope that made sense, hope this helped. Uh, this is really where I got confused with regex just because this looks very confusing, but it's very much the same as the plus or the asterisk operators, which literally just tie to the letter before it, right? So when you see a curly brace, three comma five curly brace, it's really just saying an a, three or five of them, and then whatever else is separate, right? Like a, three to five of them, and then an h. Right? This is all part of the A. The H is just tagged onto the end. So all we want to do for this challenge is change the regex, O regex here, to match the phrase O oh no only when it has three to six letter H's. So O as in OH space no, it can be O H H H and any combination from three to six H's, but no more, or no less. Okay, so that's what we want to do. This should be a match, right? Three to six, that is three H's, so that should be a match. So what do we want to find? We want to find the expression O H and then three within the curly braces, right? Three or three to six in the curly braces, H's, because again, this curly brace three to six is directly tied to the letter before it, three to, uh, three to six H's, followed by space and O. And this will very specifically find a string that says O oh no with any combination of H's as long as there's three to six of them. So that should be all we have to do for this one. This is a very hard coded solution, but at least it makes sense on what we're doing here, right? Three H's, three to six of them. So that's a true, that's a true test that passes. So I hope that helps, hope that made sense, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.